Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate how to connect an electronic drum kit to a computer for studio quality, authentic and natural drum sounds. First of all, thank you to all my followers for your comments and feedback. I read all my comments even if I don't get to reply to them all. I thought I'd put this video together to answer two of the most popular questions I get asked. These are, how do I connect my eardrums to my computer and how do I get the realistic sounds? If you find this video useful and you'd like to support me, check out my band The Blind Pilots or my iPhone app Twishlist, available at the websites below. So let's start by looking at the equipment. First of all, I have a Yamaha DT Express 4 Special electronic drum kit, which has the ability to MIDI out. So why did I choose this kit? Well firstly, the hi-hat is very important in my style of playing and the hi-hat that comes with the Yamaha is very good. It responds like a real hi-hat and is pressure sensitive. You also get three different cymbal pads, all of which are multi-zone, which means you can hit them in different places and get different sounds. The main downside with this kit is the ambient noise from the solid pads. However, most mesh kits have solid kick pads anyway, and these tend to be the loudest pads. Let's first of all compare Yamaha's built-in sounds with Superior Drummer. Let's try a different Yamaha kit. And now, Superior Drummer. There are a number of virtual percussion tools to choose from, but I settled upon SD2 since I felt it had the most natural sounding drums and was straightforward when it came to connecting kit. SD2 comes with software called ToonTrack Solo, which allows you to use SD2 as a standalone piece of software just for jamming, but if you want to use it for recording, it is best to use it as a virtual instrument plugin within your recording and sequencing software. I'm using GarageBand 09 which is more than enough for my needs and works excellently with SD2. We'll come back to the software in just a minute. There's one more critical piece of equipment that needs introducing, and that's the digital audio interface device. Most computer sound cards are not suitable for virtual instruments when the important factor needs to be low latency. Latency in terms of a virtual instrument is the time delay you can hear between hitting a note or pad and actually hearing the sound, which needs to be as small as possible. I'm using the PreSonus Firebox. So let's start connecting things up. I have my audio interface plugged into my computer. And I have my eDrums MIDI out plugged into my audio interfaces MIDI in. I'm using a Mac, so I can go to the MIDI setup screen and check I have a connection. Now, let's open GarageBand and add a virtual instrument track for our drums. We need to make sure that GarageBand's preferences are set to low latency. I have a preset called Roomy Rock Kit, so I can select that. However, if you're using it for the first time, you simply need to change the sound generator of your virtual instrument to Superior Drummer. If we click the symbol to the left, 
we get the superior drummer window which lets us edit the kit and mixing of the kit's sounds. If we go back to our track in GarageBand, we want to make sure that the track is active. Now if I hit the snare, we should get a sound being generated from the plugin. You may find that as you play the kit, there is a pad that is not set up right. If this is the case, you can use SD2's Learn button for easily setting up the MIDI mapping. Select the drum that should be played and hit the Learn button, then hit the pad that corresponds. The same goes for multi-zone pads, except in SD2 you have articulations, so the bell sound is the bell articulation for the cymbal, and you can edit the mapping just for this articulation. SD2 comes with instructions for setting up the hi-hats, but it's pretty much the same process of selecting the various articulations in SD2 and learning the range of motion of the hi-hat triggers. The hi-hat pedal sensitivity can be set as well. Once all your mapping is set, you can save it in your project. You may find that there is a mapping issue on your e-drum kit. For example, two different pads may be mapped to the same MIDI note. This would manifest as two different pads playing the same drum or cymbal in SD2 despite using the Learn button. To resolve this on the Yamaha, go to the drum kit menu, tap the problem pad and then scroll along until you can set the MIDI note. The next thing you might want to do is to adjust your e-drum's pad sensitivity and then saving that as a preset that you can use with your computer. On the Yamaha, I hit the pad I want to adjust, go to the trigger menu and scroll along until I can adjust the gain and velocity curve of the trigger. Different kits may have different methods for this. Once you've done all this, you're then free to create your own drum sound in the mixer screen and play along to tracks. Here's a track from my band, The Blind Pilots. Thank you. 